and hello world and cheers by the way let's open one up all right so this is one way to use some crash bars so what we're gonna talk about today is uh, mm, 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 cheers ah, delicious anyway we're gonna talk about some crash bars um, specific the uh, one from uh, Outback Motortech crash bars so <clears throat> I bought these things about two weeks ago I first installed them on my motorcycle yeah first thing first Outback Motortech crash bars lower crash bars because I park my bike on the streets and I don't want the clown to hit my bike and blah 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 whatever so needs certain protection I was looking for bars, I was looking at all kinds of GVs and all kinds of uh, whatever and uh, Wunderly and Touratech and uh, SW Motortech all kinds of crash bars and I ended up with this um, company uh, Outback Motortech I have no idea where they're from, I think Canadians or something it's not a well known company I believe it's made by motorcyclists like riders like you and I riding motorcycles Therefore, that's why you can see all these kind of things that I will point in the next few minutes. First thing first, I want to say what you get on the package. You get which one is this one? This one. This is okay. This is the right side. Yeah, yeah. That's the right side of the bar. You get left side of the bar, and you get a, a middle one. You know middle thing plug it in this goes in front of the radiator and that's the stuff and you get two bolts that you mount them on the engine in here and you tight the shit out of it all right so you may need some thread talking it maybe maybe not two bolts on them and then you get four bolts with a four millimeter allen key head that's four millimeter this goes in here and this in here but and you have the they look like self tapping self tapping screws I mean bolts bolts and nuts and you put them here you tighten them up you tighten the shit out of it and uh, so it's gone you leave it that's only that's the only things you get and these ones are the one that came with the package I mean these are Allen four millimeter Allen key Mm, if you want to tie them not so strong so I switched mine went to Home Depot bought these things 10 millimeter wrench better uh, put a uh, better grip if you want to tighten the shit out of the bolts uh, yeah let's talk about these mounts I mean I was looking for crash bars for my motorcycle to protect it and blah 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 all that kind of thing so I looked a lot of companies a lot of things the price was variation about 300 to up to 500 dollars and so on so on so like a cheap bastard that I am that I don't want to spend so much I uh, ended up with this one first I saw videos online they're like beautiful videos online people crashing some Africa twins whatsoever I installed these things took them back off that's why they're here on the table and I will talk about the problems that I noticed let's put it this way if you don't know how to you'll have hard time probably because does not come a manual on how to install these damn things on your bike so you have to be a little bit knowledgeable about installing things or where things goes to especially if you know your bike well which I don't I just I just got it and I have no idea about uh, adventure motorcycles as being a idiot that I am that I have no idea but I thought it was gonna be stupid proof plug a bolt plug two bolts plug another bolt you make it three you make it five bolts and it should fit there I put them I put them on I did not like the way they were sitting so I started looking online I left them in the meantime I left the bars in the bike I started looking online and this and that and I saw some other install installation videos not about the Outback Motortech bars but other like SW Motorrec or whatever that I saw that you know installing them they removed the engine bolt they, you have to unscrew the bolt that holds the engine in the frame uh, put this inside the frame and then put the bolt put the bolt inside of it 
and then it will and then tidy it up to specifications all right fine i tried to do that one and guess what i came to the problem that this one was a problem that i had to file see this one here does not fit perfectly at least this one fits so for the purpose of the video i did not file the other one so i had to file through this sheet in here because the weldings and i will go to the weldings again i will go to the weldings in in about five seconds so i had to file it in to make this thing available because we're talking about mounting it to the engine so i need to torque it to specification about the mounting them in the engine bolt so i had to go to torque so and this was the problem if outback motor tech is watching you know learn something maybe you know next time we'll do a better job this shit would not fit anywhere in it maybe this will fit but i don't have i don't have i have to buy an extension i have to buy like you know one of those uh, allen keys to install it in here and tighten up i don't have one of those things unfortunately this is what i have i don't feel like going to the store and buying like you know those things it cost about seven bucks or whatever they cost so this one doesn't fit so what i have to do is because Outback Motortech did not file this shit, you can see that you know the welding or whatever it's sticking outside in here. So I have to file it in here to make this thing fit in properly. Whatever. Now that's not the only issue I have right now. Okay, that's not the only issue. My other issue is the welding. What can I say? Okay, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but hey, they cut this thing in here probably and they bend it this one they bend it so it it fits on the motorcycle properly right i don't know if you can see the weldings in here that this thing is sticking outside how the fuck am i gonna mount this on my engine on my you know the, this does not look properly to me like it, it is you can see this thing it's sticking out what happened you know you, you don't have a grinder or something to grind this shit man come on anyway so it's a little bit frustrating that you know you're paying certain amount of money Hopefully in the future they will learn to do better job because the weldings in here there to my opinion it's done unprofessionally. I mean look you just got the welder or whatever they I don't know. One welding. Look at this one here, the weldings. I don't know if you guys can see the weldings in here. These things are I don't know. I don't personally like it. I look at this thing here. It's like a bump in here. I don't know what I don't know what is this thing in here and the welding in here it's weldings in here look at the weldings how thick they are and don't tell me this is strong welding this is I don't know this is just this personally to my experience and to my taste I don't like the weldings on the videos and pictures looked at perfect looked at smooth in person I don't like it that much so why I chose these bars I will get into them let me tell you why I chose these bars but uh, first let me get a sip of this thing because I'm getting dehydrated I'm getting thirsty my mouth is drying up I'm talking too fast I guess anyway why I choose this because other companies like you know they look you see in National Geographic, you know those uh, cages that you go to safari and you know you don't see the lions. I mean, you see those cages that people are in here so they can see lions and the wildlife. I don't want my bike to look like a cage, so they look they look neat. I mean, they don't have too much material. I believe this will do its job. I mean, if my bike falls, the bike they're built strong, and uh, having these things into the bike, it will protect from you know from the clown that he will park the car it will hit your bike and it will fall it will protect the bike from it i guarantee you that but now you know what when you pay money why not get something better but yeah the welding points are done so i got stuck with the welding points it's a it's a no no for me man. i'm sorry i'm sorry out back you know i'm not trying to put down your business i'm pretty sure in the future you're gonna you're gonna learn and you're gonna do a better job i guarantee you that it looks promising i would recommend these bars by the way if you're you know into a budget they will do their jobs but if you peek on it i mean then those points are not very well secondly also you have to know how to install the bars because outback motor tech could not provide 
a video online probably how to install them each bike has a different mounting points okay so it does not show anything what to do or how to install them other companies they provide you with some thread lock like 500 milligrams or like very tiny amount of thread lock that they could they could have done that like on a plastic bag or on a tube they could have uh, put that and they could have like if they do not want to send the paper how to install like a manual how to install and tools they could have put something online to show that hey you need this kind of tool this kind of tool and you can you have to install them this way on their website for fuck's sakes we live on uh, 2018 21st century everything it's website right now everything it's internet so they could have done that they could have provided some information online to show us how to install these damn things unfortunately they don't have any uh, maybe a point but you know you guys gonna see it on the video when I install this the, this bar that uh, why I switched to this one instead of having a allen key because this shit is not strong enough and it's you know it's stripped the head it's stripped it doesn't hold much and you know if you tight it from here and holding with the wrench if you're gonna hold this with the wrench and you're gonna tight it with an allen key this one I promise you, you don't have much leverage to tighten this one, especially when you towards the radiator side. When you towards the radiator side, you don't have leverage at all. Maybe you have one or two clicks, and and because this thing is so close to it, right? Let's put it this way: this thing is so close to it, you need a. F Remember, you towards the radiator, there is not much room. So that's you know that's my uh, two cents about the Outback Motortech crash bars. They're you know good company. Hopefully they'll uh, in the future they'll do a better job. And uh, but other than that, Outback yourself. Hopefully if you're watching this video, uh, hit me up because about that thing, the company, why I chose this one. Before I bought them, I emailed the company. I got the response on the same day, a few hours later. I took, I emailed them around five in the morning or something. I was at work, so I emailed them, and they responded to me like you know. And a few hours later, they responded to me. I was back and forth with them until you know I decided to buy them because I thought I had support. I my bars arrived. I emailed them. Hey, I I received the bars. If I like them, I'll buy other the you know the higher bars and the skid plates and everything. So if I like them, I open them, I try to install them, the bars, and then like I said, did not fit properly, I didn't like the fitting, so I sent them an email again saying, hey, I think I'm doing something wrong or whatever, I have the email that I can read it for you guys, it's not important, but I tried to contact them, second email by the way, it was uh, no response. I I answer, uh, I asked them again, hey, do I have to remove the bolt, blah, 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 I sent another email to them. Uh, like a day or two days later again zero response so I sent three emails in a week and I got zero response from the uh, from them so my battery is uh, almost dying so yeah so I'm gonna try and make the video short Close the sh uh, shorting it up so yeah I tried to contact them zero response to tell me like hey I have to feed them this and that so there is communication I think I don't like their communication either. So lesson learned. If you, if Outback Motorbike is watching the video, hey, hit me up. Uh, I'm not trying to put down their business or anything. You know, like I said, they're doing good work. So just they need to do certain, uh, certain stuff better. These things. So yeah, I mean, uh, would I recommend these bars? I mean, they're like under three hundred dollars. So you could not go wrong with it. Personally, I with my experience i mean i don't like the weldings and the responding time that the company is taking it's not responding properly so i would personally but uh, yeah go ahead and check them out anyway out that motor tech uh they're like writers like you and i like i said so uh thanks for watching guys my next video is gonna be the bike reveal and after the bike reveal maybe on the same video it will be how to install this damn bar on the motorcycle which it will take about like under 10 minutes i guarantee you stay safe and uh i'll see you on the next video man bye